flushing out all the organs. All right, we are going to work, if you want to, into a scorpion pose. It's focused more on the transition rather than really, it's a really cool transition. It creates this serenity and stillness, but it has to be quite slow. So I'll show you, and then you can decide whether you want to go there. Otherwise, if that's not what you want to do, and for example, wheel on your elbows, you can do that instead. It's our deepest back bend, we're nice and warm, we're set up. Okay, so what we're going to do from Shishrasana, from Shishrasana, when you're upside down, let me actually come closer to you, this is a really cool transition, I like it. So in Shishasana, you already bend the knees and your legs are bent. So you already have that bit of tilting of your pelvis. From Shishasana, you're going to try to flatten the palms as if you're in dolphin. Make sense? Then you're going to slowly lift your head on the floor and start to come into scorpion. You ready? Yeah. I know, you both like a challenge. And if you're like, okay, it's not me today, it's also fine. I think this is one of the most advanced practices I've taught, guys. <laughs> Especially alternating for you. All right, so take your time. It's, it's a new, new pathway. It's a refining of the balance all the time. If you want to look first, we're going to take like a really four or five minutes to get this right because it's so much fun. And then you can use it as homework. So if you want to look for it first, I hope I'm going to get it, because it's actually quite a challenging one for me as well. So, find your Trishasana. My knees are bent, but they're very active. And I'm already finding a little bit of the back bend. I actually can't talk, I think, when I do this. Alright, now I'm looking down. Breathe. Feel the hands into the floor. My hair is in the way. Alright, hands into the floor. And now it's the lifting of the head. So I do little by little. Hardly any weight on the head until you find a point where you can start to lift the head. And then bring the back of the head towards the toes, toes towards the head. Yeah, lift the elbows away. And then the challenge would be to transition back slowly. That's the hard bit. I lost it now. Can you transition? Take the steps in reverse. All right, I'll look at you. Maybe I can even give you some adjustment. Take it easy. Make sense. Vessel, are you good to try? Yeah. Awesome. It's quite dark in your spaces, but we can always have a chat about it afterwards as well. Take your time. So in your normal headstands, yeah, now the knees can come a little bit wider, Vessel, but there's still a squeezing, not a little less. Yeah, pretend there's something in between your knees and your toes are magnetized together. Yeah, now find stillness. Total stillness, I can't see your hands. We start to slowly flip your hands into, and really press into the thumb side of your hand. Feel super grounded, yeah. And it's the lifting of the head that is very challenging. So I almost, because there's no pressure on the head anymore, it's like the crown touches the floor, I walk my head. I walk my head, but there's no pressure because you never want to have pressure on the neck when the neck's not straight. It's just like a little, it's like just a little tick. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. So your head lifting was a bit quick, tense. Go a lot slower because your spine is almost going from a straight position to a very bent position. So it's in the lifting of the head that you first have the crown, you can lift it and place a little bit more of the front of the head on the floor, but it's not really, yeah, press into the thumbs. Lift the head a little and place it back down and look a little bit more forward, just a little tiny bit. Tiny bit, tiny bit. See? Yeah. So do little steps with your head, Tams. Do little steps with your head. So basically, when, you, when your hands are on the floor, and I'm not showing the hands, let's say the head is there and your hands are there. So you lift the head and you put it a little bit, but there's no way, hardly any way, because you're pressing with the arms. So it's not unsafe. And then there, and then there, and then press up. If you do that too quickly, it doesn't make sense. So it's almost like, okay, crown, check. Hairline, check. Front, now I'm there. Now my head is already in position. And then press up. One more little try. Take your time. Keep those toes together. Squeeze them, vessel. Nice. 
Take your time, take your time. Yeah, and now lift your head slow, stay slow, slowly. Head lifts towards heels. Start to look even more forward if you can, hands. Start to eh, and then breathe. Yeah. Now imagine your toes are touching your head and your head are touching your toes and your head are touching your, yeah, slowly. Press it, lovely. Ooh, and now the transition back is <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. I'm just so uh, impressed by Tams because she just flaps, flips into a, an L. It's really hard. I've got quite tight shoulders there, so I'm like, oh my god, it was ripping me apart. Okay, okay, that was fun. Knees down, hands to feet. Let's wind down now. Oh, this was so much fun, guys.